Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? It's your friend, the neighborhood content creator. Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. I wanted to make a video for Yai Miko and what you need to prepare for her arrival. So she's about to come to Genshin Impact at, in around eight days, eight days and a few hours. I'm going to make a little bit of a guide, a small guide, but it should allow you guys to know what you need before she comes into Genshin Impact. This is all speculation and guesses, educated guesses. For Yai Mika, you're going to need a few things. Well, I could talk about her weapons and what she needs, but I already did that in a past video. Basically, what you need, a crit type of weapon so the witsith probably one of the greatest because of the passive really good if you're pay to play the solar pearl excellent good choice now for her artifacts learning fury as well as shimanawa or if you don't have shimanawa you can replace it with a gladiator set it's all really fine and it could work really well constellations we don't know anything about it for the talents if you're running a main dps yai miko i would suggest having all of it be six six and six now if you want just the burst and your mental skill that's what you need to focus on if you're going for a sub dps type of yaimiko just the elemental skill and burst is what you need to do if you're doing yaimiko anyway or if you're building yaimiko anyway i would still suggest putting some of the auto attacks because she's going to be on the field for a little bit i that's just a little bit of a suggestion all right so in order for you guys to get yaimiko to level 80 or to level 90 even you're going to need a little bit of a thing called the ganoderma now this is a educated guess 100% speculative and not confirmed but you're going to need a bunch of these this is one of the easiest materials to get in the game you just run around in azuma and the beaches or whatever and collect these it's so common you can get over a hundred and something and it's really easy to get just get them now you're going to need a bunch of books in order for you guys to get her to level 80 out of 90 or 90 out of 90 whatever it may be however but you need a lot of books so if you don't have books like me you're going to have to do a lot of heroes with grinding so get to those ley lines. now you're also going to need a bunch of these handguards please do farm these she's going to need a bunch it includes her talent as well as her ascension you're going to need a bunch of these do farm these. now for the boss material she's going to need these the dragon ears false fin I currently don't have the maximum amount or the recommended amount for you to guys for you guys to get level 90 which is 46 you're going to need 46 for level 90 but if you're only going for 80 for some reason you're going to need 26 you're going to need 46 for 90 which i suggest for the books it's going to be something similar to the ride in shogun i speculate i am predicting <laughs> so you're going to need a bunch of these light books so get grinding because these are so important for talent and this is where it all comes from so please grind these this is what you need you're going to need so many of these already last but not least definitely not least you're going to need a bunch of mora so much mora and if you guys don't have much you're just you're gonna need to start farming okay mora is so important and you guys need to farm the ley lines before she arrives to genshin impact or you're going to be grinding the mora ley lines forever okay just do it it has to be done eventually so get the grinding when she arrives to genshin impact you're going to have to put her on a team and obviously i made a video on teams for genshin impact if you guys can't do that specific team that i showcased you're going to need to build your characters or the new characters whatever it may be you're going to need specific characters official excellent battery you're going to need her and if you don't want official maybe someone like beido could be okay but you're going to have an energy problem trust me i have to mention the traveler for the yai mika team the traveler hasn't been mentioned at all in any of the youtube videos and the twitch streams or wherever you watch genshin impact they haven't been mentioned at all and this came from a commenter on my channel and i think it's a really good idea the traveler is basically a mini ride in shogun in which they actually provide a lot of energy recharge to your team so the traveler actually when using the elemental skill drops three amulets and you gain energy based on the amount of amulets that you pick up. Not to mention you get a 20% energy recharge increase after picking them up. And you also get energy regeneration from Bellowing Thunder. She is a pretty good mini ride in Shogun quote unquote. Because she gives energy regeneration to the team and is electro. So it's going to help with your electro regeneration. Raiden Shogun, obviously you should probably have her in the team instead of Traveler. 
But if you do not have the Raiden Shogun, the Traveler is actually a pretty good choice in my personal opinion. Gives that instant energy recharge. Very good in your team. I'll actually try out the Traveler instead of the Raiden Shogun as well to show you guys a comparison once Yai Miko comes out. Ping Cho, excellent for Electro Charge teams. He's going to be incredible for that. If you want an overloaded team, you can use Xiang Ling. Xiang Ling could also be a good choice if you want overloaded. I don't recommend it, but you can use it. If you want a shield overload typing, Toma is going to be a good choice. Toma is an excellent choice for any of you guys that need a shield, that you guys don't have a shield, and you want an overload comp. This is what you do. You get Toma. Other than that, maybe a future Ayato could be good for her. <laughs> I'm not really sure. But you're going to need a bunch of these characters and you're going to need to build them. You need Mora. You need Heroes Way. You need all the stuff to grind before she arrives to Genshin Impact. So do those if you want to use her almost instantaneously. But the thing I recommend everyone to do is watch videos. Yes, it's a little selfish of me to ask to watch my videos. You don't have to watch mine in specific. But if you do, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> but yes, watch videos of Yai Mika before she comes out, before you decide to pull on her. And also go to the trial run. There's always trial runs for new characters that come out to Genshin Impact. If you guys go over here to your events overview, you can click on the test run tab and you can see every single character that's in the event banner. Currently, five stars, four stars, all of them are here. So do that to get an idea for your Yai Miko. Because if you do not like that character, you don't like the playstyle of that character, you will know through the trial run. So I highly suggest everyone to do that before she does come out. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and got something out of it. If you did, consider liking this video, subscribe to the channel as well. Please, I will greatly appreciate everyone that does that. <laughs> But yes, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are fully prepared for her arrival, if you guys have a guaranteed for her, if you guys will need to win a 50-50, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be reading every comment, responding to all of them as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. See you guys in the next one very soon. Goodbye.